there is a kim vadanti, a belief amongst the people, that if you see the chand on the chaturthi of the month of Bhadu, Krishna Paks, then your name will get tainted. How it originated, it has to do with the Syamantak Mani Leela of Sri Krishna in Dwarka. Nevertheless, in UP, people have this belief that you should not see the Bhadu Krishna Paks Chaturthi Chant moon. Now, otherwise, nobody will look at the chant. <laughs> when you get out of the house at night, you just head straight to the destination. If the moon comes in front, you look at it. If it doesn't come, you don't look at it. But supposing you get out of the house thinking, today is the Chaturthi of the Krishna Paksha of the month of Bhagavatam, I should not see the moon. So you go around, I should not see the moon, I should not see the moon, I should not see the moon, I should not see the moon. From somewhere or the other, you will definitely see the moon. Because you are trying too hard. So instead of that, divert the mind. That is the trick to do it. We wish to control, control the body, control the mind, control the senses. Sri Krishna says in the Gita Arjuna, it will not work. Vishaya vini vartante nihara harasya dehidaha rasavarjam rasopyasa param drishtva nivartate. You try to control the senses. The most dominant of the senses is the tongue. So if you start fasting, then all the senses will become weak. But once you start eating, again the senses will start dominating. So how do you control these senses? He says, Param Drishtva, give your senses the higher taste of devotion to God. Once the senses have experienced the higher taste, they will automatically withdraw from the lower taste. As Ramakrishna Paramahan said, devotion is love for the highest and the lowest shall fall off by itself. Mm -hmm.